Hello, everybody. Welcome in to the atrium once again. Now featuring our newly decorated background, thanks to yesterday's contributors. And we're just going to be continuing uh, music today. I'm getting rest now. Good. Take care of yourself because that was that was insane. Love the colors. Thank you so much. I love them, too. But yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to give them a shout out now. Definitely check out our friend. They just got through a multi uh, like a 22 hour, 12 hour stream, basically. <laughs> so they were raising money for a good, good cause. I didn't have the sound on for that. I'm going to redo that. That was lame. <laughs> that was lame of me not to have sound. So 12 hours is way too long for a stream. It is. It is a really long time. Okay, let's get one with sound this time. Can I give you IO? <laughs> next stream, I will perform a different song for each of you, and I will record it. And Ooh. This stream. Ooh, like a karaoke stream? I thought I turned that one on. <laughs> you sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> what even is this clip? I, it was probably from the the marathon uh, stream. <laughs> because you said something very similar whenever I was there. You're like, um. I thought that was off. I could have sworn that was off. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had this tri this uh, clip on my channel too. I have no idea who clipped it. It's just there and it comes up sometimes when people shout me out. But anyway, welcome in. And uh, thank you for all your hard work for, you know, your charity and stuff. And let's get on over. Those drawings were super cute, by the way, that your friend was working on. You're so kind. Thanks for being there. No, well, thank you. For supporting people who need to be supported right now. It warms my gilly heart to see people supporting, uh, you know, just normal individuals. Exactly. Yeah, it's good. Like, it's weird to think a year ago, this was not a problem. And it's really only been the last five months or so that it's kind of descended into this madness and uh, for any of you out there who are part of the rainbow community they need to hear it you're normal you're loved you're welcomed and don't let the craziness going on right now uh dull your shine anymore you're all welcome here in the atrium uh, so we were working on this song last week called Space Race. We're going to see if it lets me play it on stream today because <laughs> it was getting kind of choppy. My little my little potato computer could only handle so much. So let's we'll see if it'll let me continue working on this song today. If not, we'll just start on a new one and I'll finish this one on my own time. It worked for me before I started streaming, so we'll see if it'll work for me while I'm streaming. Uh, so this is... we'll just play the song from the beginning. Uh, we're almost done with this one. I just need to create a wrap-up point at the end. Uh, maybe we'll get in another chorus section and then an ending and this one will be done. Uh, what are you working on today? Yes. This is, uh, we work in FL Studio making uh, songs without lyrics. We're just kind of not confident in our singing yet. So we're just making random music. And for those of you who use music on your channel, all the music that I make is royalty free. I will never copyright claim anything on my works. So if you're over on your stream, you need some royalty free music. I'm that Gail Olo. Um, over on Spotify and everywhere that has music. 
So, uh, yeah, you can uh, use it anytime you want. Uh, so this is where we're at with the song now. I'll go ahead and play it and we'll see if everything works out well. I said I was going to lurk, but this is amazing. I have to stay. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's the crunch. Actually, the crunch isn't so bad today, so we can get this song finished. Uh, that's where we had left off. We um, had a riser again back into uh, the first melody. So I think what we'll do is we'll wrap it up with a final chorus melody. And then I want this uh, uh, chorus melody accompany at one. Uh, this sound here to kind of be the send off sound. Uh, this one. No? Where is it? Where is it? This one. This one to be the send-off sound. And we'll put in, of course, some of our spacey sound effects from the beginning at the end to kind of help bring things together. Uh, so let's go ahead and start that. This was a good ending point for those. Let's go ahead and get in our our chorus melody. A chorus without vocals. I don't know if I could. Why do we still call it the chorus if there's no vocals in some of these? I'm sure there's a technical term that I just don't know. Because all Earth culture can be weird. Okay. Um, we'll get in the chord. Paint in the space. Uh, go to our chorus drum set. Uh, let's leave the arpeggio off until the final four on this one. And we'll do... Uh, the chorus accompaniment here. I think I'll do the first one for these bars just to give it some breakup. Uh, we don't need the sound effects. We'll get the uh, second accompaniment because it matches it well enough. And then we'll give it a listen real quick. And then I think we'll go ahead and do a second one. You know what? I think we'll just copy it. Paste it over. Uh, let me get this drum here. And then we'll do a fade off of instruments. So we'll have the chord and the bass come out a little more. We'll extend the drums. And then 
uh, leave that off. This will be our ending piece, so let's extend it out a couple bars. So I'm going to get our sound envelope back over here. Uh, we'll extend this all the way to the end of the um, section here. Stretch this way over to the end. And then we'll do a fade off. So we'll put a new knob here. And we'll do like a gradual fade. So I think instead of the four, we'll do two. Yes, and then let's get a copy of sound effects over here. We'll start it about here. And then we need to get the volume envelope into place so we can have it play again. I don't mean to move things around. What happens when you have to move things via neural interface? Sometimes it just does not do what you want it to do. Okay, uh, so we'll put the point here and here. This will be our rise, and then we'll have it kind of fade off like this. I think we'll make it a little... Um, shorter. I think we need to start that off a little sooner. So let's have, we'll have two of them. We'll move this back to just blunt start here. And then we'll make another point, a plateau, and then let it fade off at the end. I think that's good. I didn't expect to kind of finish this song so early. Uh, let me, we'll do a save. Safety save and let's do a uh, listen from front to back and check for anything else.
nice. Uh, Cuddy says, I love this. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to use it for my starting soon. You can. You can indeed. Uh, I probably need to get a Ko-Fi up. Let me put that on my to-do list. I'll do a Ko-Fi and start putting free stuff up there for people to use. Doobly-doo. Okie it's at the top of my list. So this one's called Space Race. I'll be posting a thing on Twitter once it's gone live. And anyone can use it. Because creative property should be free for the world. That's my personal belief. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this one is done. I love that. Well, I'm glad you love that. I have a strong belief in short copyright life. So before Disney, there was this wonderful setup where copyrights only lasted 40 years and ensured the creator got their due for their work. And then once it was completed, it became public domain and everyone could reinterpret their work in their own vision. And it causes these creative renaissance whenever humans can build off of the work of others and reinterpret old works in new context. But after Disney, they really got litigious and lobbied hard for copyright changes. And now it is really, really long copyright. Um, uh uh contracts i guess where they just they go on forever and then when they finally do come to an end it's like so far past <laughs> like there's been this um this creative dead space i guess you can say for reworks because of uh Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Ham's parental figure, Ham, my human uh, host, her parental figure was giving a call. We were making sure it wasn't an emergency. Everything's good. Uh, yeah, so there's been this like creative dead space where there's not really been a lot of room for rework and interpretation like there was, which is ironic, right? Because Disney properties are largely based upon uh, the, um, you know, the framework that was set up prior, you know, the creative commons is most of their work and yet they stifled it. It was quite the thing. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't be a space meanie. Um, let your works be free for the public. Uh, keep your copyrights nice and reasonable. You know, let your fellow humans have their creative opportunities. Okay, uh, so I've got this whole group of songs that were started, but not finished. So we're going to go through and finish them up. So we finished Space Race. Uh, Sister Sitters, Goal Met, Can't Wait to See You. Those were things for the channel. So those are done. I think Joyride was another one. So since we just did Space Race, let's do Joyride. It's another one of these that I started. I got like two bars in and I just never finished it for some reason. But we'll finish it today. So I got a little farther in this one. Okay, yeah. So we'll see what I got. This one... was made quite a long time ago so my skills and stuff weren't up to my normal standards now so we'll probably rework some of this and then change up the instruments to match uh space race but let's give a listen let's see what past me had going on
Okay, so it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it inherently, and if I remember correctly, the way it's set up is it's supposed to increase in tempo starting here. So I was going to have to copy these and shrink them down because this is like the start, right? And then it gets like very, uh, it gets more energetic in the, the middle and then it'll slow down again at the end. Is the original thought I had. I think it's been a while, so. Let us take a moment to uh, go ahead and organize things the way they need to be organized. Uh, this was before I had my color system in place, so I'm going to have to go into here and uh, copy paste the colors. IDs. Okay. And this one was orchestra. I don't know why I went with that one first. It was this one here. Change color. Paste that in. Accept. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to go through and make sure these are all... Looks like I've already got them assigned to tracks too, so I'm going to have to mix up my mixer. I wasn't very tidy with this one. So this is probably one I had started on my own. And, uh... Never got motivated to finish it for one reason or another. Okay. That usually happens. Whenever I work by myself, I'm not as organized. Which is not the best thing in the world. I did not mean to do that. It's good to stay organized in your work. It helps you later on. And I know that, like, inside. But sometimes there's just some programming in the old brain that says, Eh. You know, just one of them if days. I I have the galley brain. I'm on autopilot. Okay, we'll copy this. Make sure that we're here. I'm going to definitely change the color for drums because they're like gray and like a slate blue gray and that's not fun. I didn't mean to do that. I was thinking I changed the color of the drums and I changed the color of square. Okay, this one, I want to do random color. And it just gave me the square color. No. No. Okay, you know what? We're manually going to color it. It's going to be dark khaki. I didn't save it. Heck and heck. Yes. Okay, and then all these guys get to be... Yeah, I have to slow down and think manually. <laughs> I'm so used to autopiloting. Okay. Now we need to figure out where these are in the tracks and make sure these are properly named. So this one is Kick. It is Khaki. Two is Kick 25. Khaki. Three. 
is the high hat. Elsa Khaki. Or near Khaki. Five strings. And it is Sienna. I remember that one off the top of my head. Um, let's see, six. Accordion. Luckily, its color is saved right here. And we don't have a seven. We do have an eight, which is interesting. So I'm just going to move this to seven. Square. Okay, so we're all reorganized again. Uh, let me see. Where are we on a timer? We're good. I've got a timer now set on a different device for the ads because I want to be able to go to the BRB screen so no one misses anything. Because uh, my dashboard alert did not tell me what it was supposed to. So I'm going to, I think, restructure this a little bit. This is very much structured like a lot of my old songs where I usually start with a chord in the bass for two bars and then I do two bars of something different and then two bars of something different and then, you, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so I think what I'll do is actually we're going to just get rid of it all. We're going to get rid of it all for now because we're going to make a different arrangement. Uh, now there's nothing inherently wrong with the instruments, but I do think I want to change them to match Space Race a bit better. This one is good. That one matches. It's one of my... This one's good, so that's okay. The orchestra matches. Droplet is good. Let's turn it up. And then square should be good. Huh. Like turned way up, but it's like a faint, really faint sound for some reason. Do I have a equalizer on it? I do. Okay. Let's see what it sounds like without the equalizer. I'm gonna turn this down. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So this was probably a vestigial remnant of something old. We'll get rid of it. Okay. These are all good. Um, let's go ahead and get Lex open and get our sound effects. Favorites, signals for a bad neighbor. Okay, let's um. Turn these down, start from scratch, and figure out what I want the levels to be on this one. I need to come here, uh, make a new layer. This one is the sound effects layer. And we'll make it dark khaki. And we're going to put in a long... Yeah, I think at the five is good. And I'm going to make this four bars in length. Yeah. Uh, we'll auto name this. So 
So come back to signals for bad neighbor. And then let's find out a good setup for this set of sound effects. I think I like this down here. Okay, so that'll be our sound effects. We'll of course need to assign this to a track. Um, for some reason this one also has the equalizer on it, so we're gonna delete that. And I'm going to uh, make sure these are colored properly. And then this one is sound effects with the proper color. And then we're going to get a automated clip. And we'll give it to this track. Uh, we'll auto name it. I don't know why it's gray. Usually they're blue. But, I mean, we'll work with it. That's fine. Um, we'll just change the color to steel blue. Because that's usually around the same color it normally is. And we'll have a fade in. In the beginning. And I think we'll move it this way a bit. and lower that curve. Yep, just like that. All right, let's get our riser in too. So let's go back to unsorted, layers, riser, and this one will be burly wood. We'll look at this, add it in here. This one is going to be the sending. And quick, we'll do this one. We can have it be a long riser, that's fine. Let's also make sure this is the color we want it to be, and then we'll need to assign it to a mixer track. And then we'll get this named to a riser with the appropriate color. And then we'll put this here to an auto name. We'll make sure this one here is grouped with its appropriate party. And then here we'll create a new automation clip. Put it here. See, this is the color they usually are. Um, we'll go ahead and group it with above. Auto name it. And we'll also give it a riser. Or a uh, fade in. So yeah, that's good. Nice and spacey. I'm a bit thirsty, so let's take a a break, a self care break. Feel free to care for yourselves along with me. We'll do a stretch first, so feel free to stretch along with me.
If I can get it to work, that would be lovely. There we go. Oh, that was a good stretch. All right, and hydrate. Stay hydrated, friends. Drink lots of water. Okie dokes. We're nice and hydrated. We're nice and stretched. Now we can get back to work. Uh, let me think. Where do I want to start it? Let's start it with like orchestra. Maybe in the second bar. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out. I do like the theremin kind of sound it has that extends out, but we're going to make it fade out starting about here with a subtle fade out. I'm being raided! Raid! Raid! Maestro! Maestro for <laughs> I, I remember this time, Maestro, this is a hamburger. So, <laughs> for your raid prize, for coming in and raiding me today, you get to uh, go to our Discord and choose one food-themed outfit and an OC you want me to draw it in. Uh, and you can place that in our Discord here. Ba -do -ba -do, over in the Raid Redeem channel. Welcome in everyone. I'm Olo the Galobian. I work with the United Space Force Initiative. I'm here to research Earth through its culture using art, music, and games. So let's just have fun with it. Welcome in everyone. It's good to see your faces. Today we're working on uh, some FL Studio music. We finished one song, so I'll go back and play that for you guys. And uh, we're working on a new song, so let me save this one. And let's go back to the song we had finished earlier. Called Space Race. And uh, how was your stream? What kinds of things did you learn, Maestro? What, what did you sponge up today? Nice introduction, thank you. I've been practicing. It's been hard. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying real good to get better at uh, not being so, so noob in the space. But it's good to see you. Uh, this is the song Space Race. We learned how to record all up in FL Studio, though some things were still kind of shaky. Yeah, recording in FL Studio takes a special kind of uh training i'll say that they don't make it straightforward <laughs> so um i still do recording and like uh, audacity is the one i use primarily and then i'll plop it in uh you know secondarily but here's space race the song that we were working on and finished just a little bit ago
Nice arpeggios? Thanks. Ooh. It's getting crunchy. My 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 potato don't like hard work. So yeah, that's it. We'll be, uh, that happens sometimes. Yes, especially with FL Studios. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this one, of course, like all my others, will be free to listen to and to use on people's channels. And, uh, I've already had someone say that they were interested in maybe using it as their opening song. So I'm also going to make a Ko-Fi to uh, try to distribute my things for people who want to use it as an asset. So now we're on Joyride and we're just in the introduction phases. Um, probably won't be doing much recording through FL Studio, but it's good to have it as an option. Yeah, if Audacity like implodes someday or something. I'm also going to give uh, Maestro, a nice shout out because they are a super space friend and they're just an all around awesome bot. They do music and games and you should definitely check them out someday. Look at what you did. Okay, so maybe that was a little too much oomph, right? Let's go with a little less. <laughs> still, still too much oomph. <laughs> oh man, this clip, that was uh, uh, quite the throw. It reminds me of um, all the mini golf games. Like you're like the physics, the physics on them could be incredible sometimes. But yeah, I hope you had a good stream other than, you know, the frustration of trying to record in FL Studio. It's uh a thing that's for sure clips like that even though they're from before i started vtubing are just too good to delete i mean that one was perfect don't don't ever get rid of it yeah tell me about it frustrating yeah <laughs> that's that's what i thought because i've i've tried before to record some things through fl studio um it's not for me. There's lots of programs that make it easier, and uh, that's the ones I'm going to stick to. Because I am lazy. Okay. Uh, let's go over to uh, strings. We're going to get automation clip. I can't even figure out how he got to where he did, but I think he mentioned having another ep episode explaining it better. It was screwing with my computer's audio settings. Definitely not worth it. I noticed that whenever um, I was lurking at the end. Oh no! Hey, Spelly! <laughs> right on time! <laughs> uh, but this song is dandy. What more will you be doing to it? Adding effects? Well, we're done with that song, so now we're on to uh, a new song called Joyride. So, uh, we're just getting the intro set up for it. And... Yeah, see it? So far. Uh, I think I actually want the riser to start there. So, so far this is what we've got. Hi, Spilly. Welcome in. Do a space race and a joyride? Lots of fast travel. Yes. I thought it would be thematic just to go on to this one, because what's happening is I have a bunch of started but unfinished songs. This was one of those. So, we've got the patterns laid out already, so here's my chord. Here's its base. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, of course, you've heard the orchestra version. I've got this droplet. We've got this square. And this uh, drum set. So those were the things that were pre-done. Uh, don't remind me, literally every musician's bane, unfinished projects. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let me, uh, I need to check something real quick. On the streamer side. I learned a lot today. Did you, Spilly? Did you learn that, that you should never record? I'm sorry, that was my ad alarm. Okay. So ads are ads are gonna play here pretty soon. Uh big fan of Bill Worst, if you guys could <laughs> figure it out. Um and if you really aren't feeling it, you shouldn't finish it. Yeah, unfinished projects are actually good. Gotcha. Um yeah, these ones they're ones that I wanted to finish. I don't know what happened. I just started them. The more unfinished you have, the better you improve. That's true. And uh, like I said in this beginning one, this one was one of my older ones that I just started and I don't know why I didn't go back to it. So it is good. Sometimes taking for like a step back from from your works um, really helps you feel refreshed when you come back to it and you know, it's just easier to work on after a break. Uh, but that is for sure. Okay, so uh, I think it's going to be break time here soon. Do you have an idea in mind for this? Like a feeling? Yes. So right now it's very slow. And specifically here in Droplets, you can hear it. So we're going to start off kind of slow. And then... We're going to increase everything uh, tempo-wise after the introduction to be twice the speed of, uh, of the starting uh, set. So that's the goal, is to make it start off like maybe you've just gotten into a spaceship and then the thrill of figuring out what the max throttle of that spaceship is. <laughs> so that's where we're going to go with that. Let me see. Is it ad break time, Twitch? I don't know how this works. We still got uh, eight minutes, so I'll keep an eye on that. So that's what we're going to do. So we're in the beginning phases now. Uh, I've got these um, these things set out here already. Uh, I think I just need to go ahead and we'll do the chord starting here and it's accompanying bass. And let me see if I need to do a riser on those. The harsh start is actually okay. So the harsh start there is actually fine. Uh, I think we'll also... I forgot. I need to go ahead and make sure this is on its own area. Auto name. Group. Okay. We'll also start um, Droplet at the same time. And we'll leave square off. Uh, we'll paste this over. And we'll start square like here. 
but of course on the square layer. And then I need to do a drum lead up. That way they don't just start. So I have a clap in here, I think. It's just a percussion and a hi-hat. Is a percussion a clap? No, they're just... Uh... Let's go ahead and get a clap that I like. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Been ruined. Ruined forever because of the cha-cha slide. Okay, uh... Claps. Uh, piano roll. I think it's 80, the one we liked. Yeah, 80 was the one we liked. Okay. So, let me go ahead and add a layer. Uh... Clap riser. I need to color that. We already got Sienna, so we'll do Earth Red. And then we'll go back into Piano Roll to 80. Ooh, not that long. Whee! I apologize, but I must step away to handle post stream things. I'll be lurking and supporting you, though. Thanks for stopping by. Go take care of yourself. Get rest. Stretch those hands out and all that lovely stuff. Uh, thank you for rating me. And again, uh, make sure to go to the Discord and post which OC and what food themed uh, thing you want them, their outfit to be based on. And I will get that done this afternoon. But thanks for stopping by. Enjoy having you around. Yeah, I think that'll be a good one. So we'll put this in the drum layer. I think we'll start it here and then we'll start drums like over there. And I also need to put some clap in this drum beat to kind of meld things. So let's go ahead and go to drums. I'm going to make sure this is changed and I'll make it this color. Just for consistency sake. And it looks like things are on twos and fours. We need to make sure that Okay, no, they're not. I was in the wrong space. So they're on ones and threes. So we need to make sure the claps stay kind of in that set. I'll probably change up these drums. I'm not really feeling them. Uh, let's remove this last clap here. I think it's the kick. Maybe 25 that I'm having problems with. Nope. Is it this kick? Yeah. Okay, so I just need to make that one not as frequent. At least not in this first set.
Yes, so I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, listen to what we've got so far so I can make sure that this arrangement's going to be kosher. I need to make sure that there's actually instruments there. I, I am going to get rid of that really bassy kick. That doesn't really match this song. I need to add something else in its place. Let me see how much time we got. Gosh dang it, I missed the, the ads again. I can't tell if they're happening or not already. They probably happened when Maestro dipped. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, we will... Be better at it. I missed the maestro stream, darn. I'm on sin stream, so I have to lurk. But I gotta do a better job of supporting my friends. You got the solo. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Jixoy. I hope you're having a great time with sin. And that it's uh, lots and lots of fun right now. Uh, let me give a shout out for the people who are watching this later on. You should support our friend Jixoy, amazing artist, amazing gamer. And all around, great dude. So let's see what clip we get. So you ready for the second random? The next. Okay, so the let's next do this. Yes. <clears throat> you want to count down or do I want to count Wait, down? Wait, did you shout out Maestro? I did. You count down. I like your, okay. I like your, uh, okay. your Smash Bros voice. Okay, hey, it's the Smash Bros one again. <clears throat> all right. Five, four, three, two one oh, oh! <laughs> oh! such a good clip yep everyone got their shout outs and i actually remembered his uh his raid gift <laughs> so i it was so sad because i forgot opie's yesterday um but we got maestros his was food themed so he's gonna get a food themed outfit for one of his OCs so right now uh we'll just get back to uh we're in BRB at the moment but I'll keep lurking the whole time to give you my support thank you Jixoy it means a lot just to have you around whenever I can get you How's your stream going? It's going good so far. We finished one song. We started another. We've decided we're going to sign up for Ko-Fi so people can download our songs for stream assets. Um, we had the lovely Katia Bot on earlier, and she said she would like to use our first song as uh, her starting soon page. And I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably get this into a downloadable format for people. So they can actually use them if they want to, other than just to chill out with on stream from Spotify or whatever. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna be doing that after stream, getting our, our favorite assets uploaded, and uh, helping people who uh, may not be in the music space have some nice, free, spacey music uh, into their their stream library. But uh, let's 
uh, do the drum thing. That's what I was here for. There's a... Like, default drum... Do I have it saved? In favorites? Drum loop? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's get in here. I need to unmute it. That would help. That would help. Yes, uh, we're going to lower this. Go ahead and change the color to the dark khaki. So this is what it should sound like now. Yeah, that sounds good so far. Uh, let me just make sure things are organized proper. Yep, we're doing good there. Doing good, doing good. Uh, there's this random side chain here of the kick to this. That makes sense. Okay, so that's the the side chain to the bass, so that the the bass plays over the drums without it getting flooded out. So. That was pre-set up. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, now that we're... Uh, and past the introduction, I think we're going to go ahead, copy these, paste them over twice. I'm going to go ahead Awesome work, thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in... Uh, square is our melody in this case, so let's make a melody accompaniment one. Um, I need to make sure that I color it proper. It'll be this pale violet. Let's get flex over and choose... A new sound to accompany square. And it needs to be something that we don't have already. Miami in might be fun. Oh, that's way too high. How'd I get that high up an octave? I think I like that one. I think this one's supposed to be like a lead. No, it, no, it's an instrument. Kind of sounds like an air horn. Yeah, not for the purpose I want. We could do Bora. Yeah, Bora sounds good. So we'll do Bora. Um, let me actually... We're going to select this and cut it out. That was just for testing purposes. We're going to go into the square category and it's got to match up with this. So this is what we're going to be placing our things on. 
Try it. Am I high up? So it looks like it goes down to C as a baseline. So we're on F. I like that. So let's get all these, cut them out, go to the appropriate layer and paste them. I need to make sure that this is colored appropriately. And we'll put it down here. I think we'll move it up. We'll do auto name. Uh, move up. Move up. We'll put it up past drums. And I think I'll move drums up. Let's move that up. And let's put drums uh, up where the bass and the chorus are, because that's usually where I have them. Okay. Uh, actually, we'll put orchestra one above, because it's basically just the bass. Okay, uh, let's check these out. Uh, we'll start it here. I think I'll get one more accompanying instrument and then here we'll start the tempo increase. So mill accompaniment two. We'll make it like magenta. Add in a new instrument. And let's go find just a random beat. Okay, this will be the one which we find our instrument on. Let me go to favorites first. up here. Okay. So 
we'll exit that out. Let's go ahead and go back to where? I don't know if I want it to be F. So it will have to be a C to start out with, at least. And then maybe I can put these ones to F. the last one too. The last one will make a C. Uh... Those are in the wrong ones. You seem to be one bar over. What do these sound like? Up. I think it's too high there. Let's look at a different instrument, maybe. Okay, let's do a search. Tags, we want a pluck, we want it to be bright and on everything. All right, let's find a good one. We could also go maybe... I need to make sure I also get an arpeggio. Yeah, no. What's the hex of Screech Bell? Yeah, not pleasant. That's what it is.
This one actually works. Oops, I forgot. I need to... Cut. Not graph. Paste. Color. And uh, we'll insert one. I don't name. Ew, it got crunchy. That's not good. It does not like the echoing instruments I figured out. I don't think I like yearning anyway for this piece, so let's look for a different one. Crystal's actually really nice. Let's try Crystal. Yes, whenever we do the mixing, it'll sound less muddy, I promise. But I'm just trying to get the basics in for now. Uh, we need a new one. We'll say this one's our arpeggio. And it will be purple. And then get this here. We'll do a search, change our tags to arpeggio. I spelled that wrong. I needed two G's. Enter a bright arpeggio. Search for all. Let me come over here. We'll add a note here so we can hear the arpeggio. We need something that's going to be a little energetic. And for some reason, oh, I remember liking computer tape. Not like that, though. Happy dates sucks. Um, let's try bubbles. Let's see what bubbles. Not quite. Nope, that one, not that one either. Oh, I like this one. I might add that to my favorites, in fact. Okay. So that'll be our arpeggio, and we'll put it here. And I think what we'll do is we'll have this. Let's have like a uh, another bar where it's a fade off. So we'll copy this over. We'll get the arpeggios moved over. Let's um, insert one. Make sure these are on their own layer. Um, auto name. I forgot to give this one a color. It's going to be blue. Okay. Uh, auto name this one. Change color. Okay. 
Um, what we'll do is we'll do a fade off of these. And then the arpeggio. And then we'll do the increased tempo. Uh, starting in this bar. Um, let's work with that fade out. Uh, do I already have... I don't. Um, I need to check my tracks and make sure that there's not... a bunch of... Okay, I got reverb on the strings. That's fine. I need to just make sure that there's not a bunch of weird plugins. Is the um Yeah, the chord one's not assigned, so I will assign it to track six with the bass, and then let's um rename this to chord and bass. We're going to get automation clip. We're going to insert one above here. Get this brought over. Get this shrunk us down to where I need it for now. And we'll start the fade off there. We'll start the arpeggio sooner. And I need to go correct my spelling. There we go. And I need the string one to come over here. Whoosh! Okay. I need to see is square. Square is assigned to seven, so I'm going to assign the others to seven as well. That are in its kind of group. I'll go ahead and group these together. And I'll rename this to Melodies and Accompaniments. And we will get a automated clip for it. We'll uh, insert one below. Bring this over to where they start. Auto name it, group. Same with this one, auto name and group. Let's bring this in to here. Uh, one more. There we go. I just realized something. This may not, this arpeggio may not work with the other sounds I have. Yeah, I don't like that arpeggio paired with the other sounds. So we need to find a new instrument for it.
It sounds good on its own, but in this song it just doesn't work. Yeah, this isn't an arpeggio. Subspace transmission. I've used it before. Let's see if it works with the other instruments. Yes, it does. Okay. I think we'll end Droplet there. I need to make sure... Uh, that I have an automated clip for this drum loop. Uh, drums. We'll insert one. Bring this one up. Slide it over to where the drums begin. Auto name. No, auto. Auto name. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we'll come over here. Shrink this down to here. Bring that down there. Okay, um... I just realized something. Give me a second. I don't know if I had a bunch of background noise when I was talking now. Uh, let's see. I think we need to start the, the arpeggio here. And then we'll do a lead in. So let's go back to Unsorted. Let's get this assigned to its own thing. Arpeggio with the proper color. I think. Create clip. I'm going to change the color on this just because I don't like it when it's gray like that. It makes it hard to see in the list. Insert above. Bring this over. Go ahead and shrink this. Yes. So we'll do that. Let me go ahead and do a save. 
because it's been a minute. And I think I'm going to take a quick hydrate. Feel free to take care of yourselves along with me. Stay nice and hydrated. Okay. Let us see where we need to be. So here we'll bring in the other instruments, I think. Just the two will be enough space. Let me auto name this. And group it. Okay. We should bring back the sound effects for this section here, definitely. So let's get a sound effect and a riser. The riser should be more like here. And then we need to extend this out to here, we need to create a new thing here. That could be its uh, fade out before it comes over here. We'll do two of these. Gotta move this over. So it's got a slight fade in. Pull this back in. We need it to kind of plateau before it lowers again. So we need to start this sooner. So for some reason, it's not really adhering to the the fall here. Let's make this one. Maybe this will do it. Yeah, it's like it's not attached to its envelope anymore. What's going on with that? So I see it raised there. And it's supposed to lower. But I still very clearly hear it. So what's up with that? Do I have these in the wrong... No, this is the right one. So it did fade off much longer after I told it to. 
So let's see if it does it if I shrink this plateau. No, it's still doing its own thing. Which is baffling. We'll have to come back to it. Because I don't know how to fix that right now, so I'm moving on. And we'll start with the riser. So I need to extend this a little bit. We'll create a point here. And then this can come all the way to the end. Uh, here and here. And here. So we'll do the sharp turn down there. And we'll actually do... Let's insert a new one. So we can get a more precise riser. And then I'll bring this one back into place. Yeah, that one's fine. For some reason, the sound effects layer is not adhering to the sound envelope like it should. But I'm not quite sure why. Is it that this doesn't... Does it do it the first time? Let's listen. So it does it there. But it won't do it here for some reason. I'm just going to turn everything off. We're just going to listen to this. We're still playing. Oh. First of all, my rise is in the wrong place now, so let's do that first. Well, it fixed itself for some reason there. Maybe it's just having a problem processing everything, all the channels while I'm streaming. And that's why I didn't want to do it when the song was playing. It's the only thing I could think of. All right, let's work on this section here. Okay, that's good. Let's do a file save. And then everything needs to be double the temple starting here. I'm not sure if there's a way to change tempos in a song in FL Studio. I'm not that well versed in it, but what I can do is the only thing I know how to. So we'll unmute all of these again.
And instead of having the sustained strings, I think we're going to get the staccato orchestra because that'll match with the upbeat stuff better. And there's Sienna is their color. So we're going to keep that. Let's get um, in between here. And we're going to essential strings. And all strings staccato. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into orchestra. Change this color real fast. We'll go ahead and use it at 5 2. And then we're going to make the staccato version of what was there. We'll mess around with it to make it more interesting. Okay. Oh, I forget. Let's make sure we're in a place in the song where they're at max volume. Yes, that sounds good. Um, we're going to cut those. We're going to come here. Paste. I don't think I actually need to change that around. I think that's fine by itself. So that'll be here, starting with these last two is where I think I'll start it. So we need to bring this over. Bring this over. Do a cut here and here. This will be their fade off. And then we'll have the reintroduction to where not that high. We need to turn that down a little. Yes. Okay. Um, this may be one of the songs I have to finish by myself off stream because I could tell the clipping is worse on this song than it was on the other one. Okay. Uh, so I'll start it here. Okay. So that's good. Good, good, good. Um, let's bring in the chord bass too, starting at the same time, but the new version. So we're going to clone this, bring it down. Select everything, half it, copy it, paste it. And we'll put it here. We need to make sure this is in the similar setup, point here, point here, lower it, 
point here where it's back and normal. Okay. Uh, what else can we get in here? We can get in the collaborizer. That one's fine. I need to put this there. Let's give it a second to rest. Okay, yeah. So we'll stop there. Uh, we'll go ahead and clone cord. Bring that down. Again, everything. Um, we'll need to select these, not including the fast notes there. Decrease them here by half. Uh, yeah, this one's going to take a little more work because of the The little ones here, we'll have to push them back a little. But for these ones, control C, control V. Control C, control V. Uh, move these ones over. I think here is where they were. Let me check the original one. Okay, it was fourth bar on each one for the bottom row. Let's make sure that these are still set up to be as such. Those ones are in a little different position, so let's go back over here. They're the start of the third bar. Let's make sure. Yes, those are in position. So I think these ones are going to have to be a different note. Okay, no, they don't have to be. I need to... Let's over these ones to this length. Those can start there. Okay, yeah, you could kind of feel how the energies increased at this point. Okay. Uh, what's our time? We're out of time. So let me save this one. 
And we'll go over here. And we're going to try to find a friend to raid. So give me a second to do that. Let's see who's hanging around today. Who's doing what? Ooh, let me, let me see. Let me make sure that he's gonna be still going. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's still in action. So we're gonna go raid our friend Cryptic Mimic, who is playing Grand Theft Auto today. Before we go, I need to put in the shameless plugs. You can catch me in these places. If you would like to join us in our raid, you can use this message. And if you're a United Space Initiative donor, which is our subscribers, you can copy this message. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow playing Cozy Grove and doing whatever the else we heckin' feel like it. We'll see what happens. But for now, that's it for today. So until next time, have fun, space friends!